Hey guys, today's video is sponsored by Toonskid. If you have a free Spotify account and you would like to convert all of your Spotify music with a few simple clicks from MP3 to all of these audio files listed here, Toonskid is the fastest and easiest way to convert all of your Spotify music. So if you'd like to check them out, links will be in the description down below for Toonskid. Hey guys, today I want to talk about iOS 12.3. Apple released it just a few days ago. There's a ton of new features. If you'd like to watch my initial coverage with all the new changes, links will be in the description. This is going to be my follow a video after a few days of using the software on the iPhone XS as well as the iPhone SE as well. So I want to give you guys some new features that have been discovered that were sent to me as well as talk about performance, battery, and everything else as I usually like to do on my follow-up videos. So let's begin. So the first thing I want to talk about is mismatch AirPods prompt that you get with iOS 12.3. This is a new feature, of course, with the new AirPods being released, the second generation, Apple added a new feature to iOS 12.3 to identify when a first generation AirPods is inside the case of a second generation and vice versa. So if you have several AirPods laying around, this is gonna be first gen, second gen. So if you have several AirPods laying around and you accidentally get them mixed up, so what I'm gonna do here is remove the one AirPod here from the second gen and place the first gen inside of the second gen case. And we should get a pop-up here in iOS, as you see here on the iPhone 5S and the iPhone 10S, that the AirPods do not match. So these AirPods do not match the ones that are in the box. The one on the left is gonna be the second gen, the one on the right is gonna be the first gen. And that's the pop-up that you'll see. As you see here, it also works on older devices, so not just the new devices, but old devices also have this feature built in where you can identify if AirPods were mixed up. Now, someone like me would definitely have this feature be useful because the AirPods are so small, sometimes you can get confused, you can drop them, you can leave them around your house, and you might accidentally end up putting them on the wrong case. So that's a new feature in iOS 12.3 that I definitely, definitely appreciate that Apple really thought about. Now, one thing you guys always ask about is performance. And it's understandable, battery and performance is very important to most people. And iOS 12.3 beta one has great performance. I haven't noticed any hiccups, any issues, any Wi-Fi or Bluetooth issues. I've heard of from a lot of you guys in the comments that you're still having issues with the LTE connectivity on the iPhone XS. Let me know if you're still having those issues because mines were completely resolved. In regards to performance, I cannot complain. Nothing is going on, nothing is wrong, I should say, with the performance on iOS 12.3 beta one. Battery is excellent, very similar to iOS 12.2, which is a good thing, anywhere from eight to nine hours of battery life. Of course, that's always going to depend on how you use your device on a daily basis. I'm gonna run a benchmark here, but I also wanna talk about the iPhone SE here because Apple also brought most of the features from the new devices over to the old devices as the iPhone SE as well. So in regards to the Apple TV service, that's gonna be here with the iPhone SE and the iPhone 5S as well. And we have the Apple News Plus service also available on these older devices. And in regards to performance on these older devices, it's surprising how smooth iOS 12.3 is running. I'm very, very happy with the results. I had a couple hours to play around with the software. Everything seems to be just fine. My daily driver right now is the iPhone XS as well as the iPhone 7 Plus jailbroken here. I've been testing the beta software on the iPhone XS and I had a few hours to play with the older device, the iPhone SE, and I've been very, very happy with the results. I'm happy that Apple is definitely, definitely taking care of older devices as well. So let's go ahead and run a benchmark here on the older iPhone, the iPhone SE, as well as the iPhone XS. Once the numbers come back, I'll be right back. All right, so the numbers are in. Right here, single core score on the iPhone XS, we have 4814 and multi-core score 10,998, almost 11,000 on score for multi-core score. Numbers are looking fantastic, performance, battery, everything is good on this device. As well as the older iPhone, the iPhone SE, we take a look at the numbers here. These are really good numbers for this device, to be honest, 25, 67, and 45, 25. So I'm happy to report that everything so far looks to be headed in the right direction with iOS 12.3 on newer and older devices. Of course, I'll continue to cover the software. If you guys have any additional questions, anything else that you would like for me to cover, let me know in those comments down below. Hopefully the next beta will be released in the next two weeks as Apple likes to go on a two week cycle when it comes to new software beta releases when it's in the first stages of the beta releases. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Have a great day, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.